let's see how to use assert commands and verify commands choosing between assert and verify commands depends upon how you want to manage your failures for example say there is a failure what do you want to do whether you want to stop the test or proceed with the test first let's see how these commands work on assert command failure it will fail the test and about the current test case execution on verify command failure it will fail the test but it continues to run rest of the test case this is how assert and verify commands work let's see when to use assert commands and when to use verify commands use assert commands to make sure your test case is going in right direction for example to make sure that right user configuration is loaded or correct page is loaded for that purpose to make sure that your test is going in the right direction use assert commands use verify commands to actually compare test results or output values for example say you are on a wrong page then whatever verifications you do everything is going to fail if you use the assert command to make sure that you are on the right page then it's going to immediately fail on wrong page then you can immediately go and see the results it's going to save a lot of time going further the best use of these commands is to logically group your test commands and start each group with an assert command to make sure that you are in the right page or right direction then use one or more verify test commands for actual test verifications or comparisons here is a real world example make sure you are on the right page with assert command and for actual test comparisons use one or more verify commands with this if you are on wrong page it's going to fail immediately and you can see the results immediately it's going to save time for you as we have already seen earlier selenium id provides different assert commands and verify commands here are some of the examples i think for each assert command there is an equivalent verify command we have assert title that you can use to assert the title of the current page then we have assert attribute that you can use to assert the attribute of an element then we have assert element present that you can use to check whether an element present or not we have the same commands in the verify as well they work in the same way but whenever a verify command fail it's going to fail the test case and proceed with rest of the test but whenever a assert command is failed it's going to fail the test and stop the current test execution let's see assert and verify commands in action i'm creating a new test case let's go back to our yahoo uk search what i want to do is i'm going to yahoo page then i want to search for selenium keyword once we are on search results page this is the yahoo logo this seems to be important so let's check that this element is present then this is the search box let's check that its value and some of its attributes i'm first going to record i'm going in recording mode let's go to yahoo uk site then let's enter selenium then let's click on search button now let's stop the recording let me correct the steps here open the yahoo page we don't want to click anywhere this is typing in the search box but its id is dynamic let me go through list of locating strategies recognized by selenium ide i can use name equal to p that's good then i don't want to click on it again then click on search button search submit which is clicking on search button now we have done the search action we will be on search results page first thing we want to make sure that we are on the right page we are on the search results page then we can do all the verifications i can use assert title if i right click you can see we have assert title command i can use assert title to make sure that i am on the right page i am on the search results page let's click on it okay it has inserted assert title after that I want to check that this logo is present this is the actual test verification so i can use verify command right click on it and say verify element present id equal to logo i can use this if i click on find it's finding the yahoo logo that's great next one is i want to verify that its value is selenium if i right click 
there is a command called verify value. I can use this to make sure that its value is selenium. Let's verify other attributes. If I click on inspect element with firebug, it's an input tag. It has got other attributes as well, class, type, tab index, autocomplete. Let's say we want to check autocomplete is off. I can say verify autocomplete is off. Let's write the step. Verify attribute. Then what's the target? This is the ID. So I can use that ID. This is the ID. Then we need to give the attribute we want. So at symbol. Then the attribute name autocomplete. Then the value. What value you want to verify with. It should be off. Now it looks complete. We are opening the Yahoo UK page. Then we are entering Selenium in the search box. We are clicking on the search button. Then we are using asset command to verify the title to make sure that we are on the right page. Then we are doing a number of verification steps. Let's run this test case. I'm running this. Hopefully it should pass. Okay, it has done the search. Then asset title is passed. All the verifications are passed. The test case is passed. Let's fail asset title and see what happens. I'm intentionally giving 1 1 to fail asset command. Let's run this time. Asset title is going to fail now. You can see that asset title has failed and it has not continued with rest of the test. Here you can see runs 1, failures 1. Let me change it back and this time. I'm going to fail a verify command. Let's fail this one, the first verify command. ID equal to logo 11. Now this step is going to fail. Let me run the test. It has opened Yahoo UK site. It's going to search for Selenium. Assert command is going to pass. The first verify command is going to fail. You can see here that the assert command passed. The first verify command verify element present for this Yahoo logo. It's failed, but it has continued with rest of the steps. This is how assert and verify commands work. You can see when a verify command is failed, it's also failing the test case, failures 1.